I know the future. I've lived with millions of them. I still do. Stalked each one because I couldn't help myself. Tomorrow lures me with promises of better and richer and more. Someday watches for its cue to enter, for its close-up. It waits just over the horizon, hugging the next sunrise as anticipation's shadow. With the smell of wish and hope on its breath, and the glisten of a drop of a dream or a trickle of dread at the corner of its mouth. The future needs no red carpet or trumpet fanfare, but it will take it if you need it. The future is content to tip in the back door when least expected while our eyes are quietly turned toward some other life, some other time, as it claims a seat right at the kitchen table disguised as something familiar. It comes always with a gift. It waits patiently for the magic word that will transform it forever now. Last week, I rose to greet a future that was knocking on my door, like I always do, and a voice said, wait. My hand froze inches from the knob. Before you open that door, ask yourself, what will you remember of this day? Will you remember what you were given or what you were burdened with? Will you cling to splintered remnants of your sunken ship of reality, weighed down by heavy expectations that would not, could not float? Will you remember next time to pack Forgiveness and love, or shame and blame? Will you re what will you remember of this day? Will you remember hearing your name cried out with love, indifference, or in anguish, but spoken openly, raw, and reminiscent of God? Will you remember what that sound did to your heart? Will you remember the names of God you cried with love, indifference, or in anguish? Will you remember what those cries did to your heart? You remember where you were, what you wore and ate, the day you met your love, the day the towers fell, the day the king died. It's easy to remember when, who, and sometimes why, when the days are large, gangly, and unexpected, storming their way up your walk and leaving large Sasquatch footprints in the mud around your door. But what about the tiny days? The ordinary Tuesdays, the just another Mondays, the days that glue the big ones together with everyday spit and tears. What will you remember of this day? What will make this day that day? You one day claim that you shall overcome someday. Will you remember that you did today? Will you remember how many kindnesses made it through your lips and how many were denied the sweet space of your listening? What will you remember of this day? Will you remember the one that cheated you, leaving your hopes cut into tiny red ribbons, tattered and ragged from a brutal slicing tongue, leaving you humble? Will you remember to heal and work your miracles? 
Will you remember the mysterious eyes of the grinning man dressed in all he owned, holding the cardboard sign that reads, here, but for the grace. Will you remember not to give in to the echoes of can't and don't and follow them off the cliff of despair? Will you remember in your free falling flight with gravity there is only surrender and give yourself the blessed permission to be caught in God's hands, whole and complete? What will you remember of this day? Will you remember how in time your memory floats back and forth, bumping against the shore and encouraged by an invisible tide? Will you remember that in time, fine threads of waiting and wandering tether you to plans of one day and soon, but it's always later, always? What will you remember of this day? Will you remember that one word can save the world? All these questions rushed in as I stood ready to let in an opened arm future on the other side of the threshold. I dare not move until my eyes were open wide enough, my heart listening to its own beat, my mind receptive to a voice that gave me pause. This was no time to go numb. It was time for all senses to show up full, fat, and ripe as if my future depended on it. Am I ready? And if so, when? Always yes, and always now, and always tomorrow, remember. <laughs>